So I had just boiled some zucchini and take, I had taken out the bottom half of the gluten-free vegan hoagie roll with the meatless, beefless, taco ground, veggie burger patty that I made on the deep dish tea fowl pan along with four slices of the medium sized zucchini which makes about two of these to be split into a total of four sandwiches or four, four sub halves basically um, with a little balsamic drizzled over on top of it but I am going to use some ketchup too on there I just feel like demonstrating. So this ketchup is not gluten free. It's got distilled vinegar in it. It's probably barley malt. But they do make gluten free vinegars I'd, I had mentioned in a previous recording of this segment. It's a big sandwich, see that? Okay. I'm going to your room for now, right? No, you're gonna help me. Yeah, 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 in a minute, in a minute. Yeah, I know. I'm going to cut this in half or into thirds. And these are the other two rolls. Actually, this I would cut into half, as I had mentioned in a, the first video clip of this segment or it's second video clip and then put put the two together as if it was that where with these I could just cut them into halves lengthwise Let's see. there's a little moisture in there that collects but that's that's okay as I that had happened with the vegan soft white bread I had made for myself. The moisture disappears the following day. And it's still good. It's good for three days, I believe. A three day sh shelf life. Okay. 